All right, what's going on, guys? So today, we are going to be ranking every single SMG in Cold War Zombies from worst to best. Treyarch recently made a balancing pass on some of these weapons and have kind of recontextualized how good they are. And well, the SMGs in the game are, in a lot of ways, quite similar to each other. There are some key distinctions that can make a gun particularly elevated over another. Much of it depends on your particular play style and how you like to enjoy the game based on which SMG you're going to prefer the most. But today, we're going to be ranking all of them from worst to best and truly getting to the bottom of what is the best smg in the game if you do enjoy the video at any point be sure to give it a thumbs up it would be incredible make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel around 84 percent of you guys are not currently subbed so if that's one of you i'm not sure what you're waiting for if you like call of duty and you like zombies then this is the place to be i have plenty more content coming your way now we're going to be ranking these smgs pretty much on the basis of practicality and just their overall effectiveness there are like certain situations where maybe one of the smgs outperforms all of them by a lot long shot, but what we're most concerned with is its overall effectiveness. Before we dive too deep into it, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Smite, the battleground of the gods. Smite is a free-to-play action MOBA featuring legendary mythical icons. Smite's brand new god Tiamat is the most ambitious playable character to date on all levels. Embodied as a majestic dragon, she is the first goddess of the Babylonian pantheon. And that comes alongside some incredible unique game mechanics as well. Smite just started a new season and is, continues to expand its reach. You can check out Smite for free right now using the link in the description. Thank you so much to Smite. So anyways, as of right now, there are seven different SMGs you can play with in Cold War Zombies. Two of them have been added post-launch and have come with items the battle pass or just some free content during the season and so we've had time to play with these as well now coming in at the worst spot on our list i'm gonna have to give this to the mac 10. now this smg was not available at the launch of the game and came shortly after now in zombies to run it you do have to apply it on your loadout it's not available in the mystery box nor is it available off the wall so you have to go out of your way to put this in your actual class setup in order to even play with it to begin with the reason the mac 10 is coming in at the lowest spot i have two main issues with this weapon that is the overall damage output and also its stability surprisingly enough even when fully upgraded and triple pack a punched i don't feel like the mac 10 is able to keep up long term in the long run with all of the other smgs you could compare it to the dps that it puts out kind of drops dramatically as time goes on and when dealing with boss enemies such as megatons and you need to put out a lot of damage to a very pinpoint location its stability doesn't really allow you to do that either it's very shaky and you need plenty of attachments like grips and stocks to comp compensate for that. The default magazine without attachments also isn't great, so you definitely need to compensate for that shortcoming as well. A lot of the best guns in the game are already solid just as a base variant. The MAC-10, however, is not one of those weapons. It can be made pretty decent through the use of attachments, but at the end of the day, you have to use all of those attachments to conceal and compensate for its weaknesses rather than expanding on its strengths. Definitely not bad, but not my favorite weapon in the entire world, and I think it's probably the lowest out of the SMG class entirely but moving on to our next spot this one is going to have to go to the lc10 and just like the mac 10 this was another one added post launch this is the most recent smg and in a lot of ways to me it feels a lot like a ump 45 just the way that it handles how it shoots over range and it's kind of like a little bit of a cross between the smg and ar class it doesn't have anything like an incredibly fast fire rate but it's pretty steady and consistent over range and the damage output is also pretty nice in my experience i've always felt the lc10 is most consistent while aiming down sights it's best to use this weapon you know in a very pinpoint kind of manner while it doesn't have still an amazing damage output it's a lot easier to land shots in a very pinpoint and precise location a lot easier than something like the mac 10 i think the lc 10's biggest natural weakness however is the magazine size again can be mitigated some slightly through pack a punch and then also depending on the attachments you run but just like our previous weapon it is only available when applied to your loadout it cannot be acquired through the mystery box or off the wall so it might be a gun that you end up playing all the time it's a weapon that i do enjoy using from time to time but i'm never really going to go out of my way that much to apply this on my loadout because it's just not really that like stellar of a weapon however it is fun and it is a pretty good reliable smg choice as far as that's concerned Coming in next on our list, just above that, we have the MP5. I would say this is probably mid-tier in our SMG class. How 
However, in the scale of Cold War Zombies weapons, it is still pretty good. However, while the MP5, I just love it as a weapon in general, in this particular game, I don't know if it's the best SMG. Now, its base variant is pretty good as far as everything on paper, right? It's got good handling, the recoil control is very solid, and it, it, it's pretty consistent. The only thing, as many of you guys have pointed out, is that the MP5 is an absolute pea shooter. The damage per bullet isn't quite as low as something like the MAC-10. It also doesn't have that same ridiculous fire rate that the MAC has. And I, I, I'd say that the overall DPS is certainly lower than it could be on the MP5. And again, a lot of these, you know, weaknesses can be compensated for through different attachments. But the difference why the MP5 is certainly better than the MAC-10 and things like that is it has a lot of these base strengths already, right? It's consistency, it's recoil. A lot of these can just be extenuated and made better through attachments. And you're not necessarily just like picking picking up for a weakness it has. In my opinion, the MP5 is pretty mid-tier as an SMG, but is absolutely not the worst choice you could make. It's also pretty good over range. It has less damage fall off than you might imagine, and is fairly consistent con to control uh, when you want to deal damage against bosses. The MP5 is essentially the jack of all trades, master of none. There are some other SMGs we're going to get to that are a lot more specialized and can really do everything this weapon can, but a little bit more. So coming up next, getting into our higher tier of the SMG class, this one is going to be the Bullfrog, and the reason this gun is a little bit higher than the MP5 for me, I feel like the Bullfrog can do everything the MP5 can just on its base variant, but the Bullfrog's got something special. It has a ridiculous base magazine size and can be made even better through attachments and pack-a-punch, and it's got a really solid overall damage output as well. The Bullfrog is fully capable of absolutely manhandling boss enemies and just other special enemy types that you might run into, and dealing with consistent hordes in zombies just having that magazine that seems to never run out, which is basically an LMG, is a pretty big luxury. I'd say one of the only downsides to the Bullfrog is that it's just like base hipfire accuracy is not the best, so you really do have to run an attachment that improves it a little bit, but that can certainly be done. Mobility and movement is also super important if you're going to be running an SMG. You just want to be as active as possible, and so you can use attachments that can increase your overall movement instead of having to compensate for its weaknesses, because to be honest, the Bullfrog really doesn't have too many. I would say reload time is the Bullfrog's greatest weakness, and again, those things can be mitigated through attachments and also speed cola, but it, it, it's more comparable to the reload of, like, some of the ARs in the game, but, it, you know, just as the SMG class, the mobility you get, the practicality, and just the very surprising damage output, the Bullfrog has to be a contender as one of the best SMGs in the game, and is certainly up there on this list. But moving on to our next weapon is probably the most specialized gun in the game, as far as the SMG class goes, and that that is going to have to be the KSP-45. Now, this is probably the most specialized SMG in the game. It is a three-round burst with a really high damage output, and it was actually one of the guns I gravitated towards when I first started playing Cold War, because I felt like it was one of those weapons that dealt with boss enemies very effectively. The mobility and movement speed you get with this weapon is already very good and can be made better through attachments, but I think that this weapon is more effective at dealing with special enemies than it is at dealing with regular horses. Towards. One of the biggest advantages to having a great fire rate like the MAC-10 is on insta-kills, for example, you can clear out a horde really, really quickly, where something like an insta-kill with a KSP still is good, but it's not, like, amazing, because each individual bullet still needs to come out and hit a zombie in order for you to take advantage of that, and the KSP is probably where it struggles there. However, it absolutely shreds mini-bosses. If you do personally enjoy a little bit more of, like, a slower playstyle where you're just going to deal out damage from a range with this weapon, then the KSP might be your go-to if you just want to rush in and have a really fast firing weapon that you don't need to tap multiple times then the KSP is probably not going to be one you gravitate towards and while this is a little bit anecdotal I feel like the KSP is one of the weapons that benefits most from being pack-a-punched like some weapons I feel like you upgrade and they don't really seem to visibly get that much better the KSP however every time you upgrade it really feels like it takes another step and that lasts for quite a while it's one of those weapons that doesn't fall off too hard as the rounds go on and is fairly consistent even into higher waves. Now getting near the top of this list, these were really hard choices to make, but I think coming in after the KSP is going to have to be the AK-74U, and when I thought about it, one of the reasons I like this gun so much, it's very much like the MP5 in terms of its consistency and the fact that it doesn't really have any weaknesses, it's just a better version of it. It's got a pretty similar fire rate and just simply deals more damage. The movement and handling capability is great on this weapon, and the DPS 
the way it's able to also handle boss enemies is pretty unmatched. It's good up close and out of range, is fairly steady, and it's got a nice rate of fire. The 74U is pretty much the complete package. It's everything you'd want as far as an SMG. It may not be the most specialized thing in the world and maybe doesn't have the same bullet damage output like the KSP, but again, when you boil it down to its overall utility, I really think it's such a cut above many of the other SMGs in the game and has been probably the best gun in multiplayer for a long time and, you know, for good reason. While that's not an exact one-to-one -one comparison, you can understand why the 74U is so popular. And I would even go so far as to say a lot of you guys would probably put the 74U at the top of your list, but at least for me, coming in at the number one spot, it, again, tough choice between these two, but I think I'm going to have to give this one at the end of the day to the Milano. This has got to be my favorite SMG in the game, and I do believe it is objectively one of the best. It's pretty strange because the base Milano honestly is good, but it's not like amazing or it wouldn't catch your eye otherwise. However, I think when fully upgrading this weapon is where it truly shines. It doesn't have the fastest fire rate in the game, but it's also not the slowest. If you've used this gun at all, you'll know that aiming down the sights or firing from the hip both are unbelievably steady, and the damage output is complementary go to go along with that. It's very, very high, absolutely deletes boss enemies, and is quite good at regular zombies as well. Depending on attachments, of course, the magazine is also pretty solid. The Milano doesn't have any really obvious weaknesses, so that means any attachments or further upgrades only serve to make its strengths better. It doesn't even really need a sight as the irons are pretty good. And again, while it was a tough choice depending on the 74U or the Milano to take the top spot, I think I am going to have to give it to this. I think that newer players may prefer the 74U and maybe veterans who, you know, kind of understand like how the gunplay works and all that kind of stuff will maybe prefer the Milano. But I really do believe that objectively the Milano is one of, if not the best SMG in the entire game. And I certainly something I recommend running if you've not already taken the pleasure to try it out. These were how my SMGs stack up against each other, and I would love to know what you guys think of my list. What is your favorite SMG in the game, and how does that rank against mine? But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and make sure to go follow me on Twitch, where I stream almost every day. Link to that's in the description below. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if there's another section of weapons you would like me to rank next, and I'll be sure to get to that, but have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. I gotta go, and peace out.